This is my rarest clownfish. Let me explain. I love clownfish. Not only because they're beautiful and very personable, but because I love genetics. I mean, these two fish are the same species, just different morphs or phenotypes if you want to be a stinky scientist. I have a degree. But I think most of us can agree that these guys are way cooler than the typical three-striped ocellaris. Back to this little fella who doesn't have a name yet, so leave me some name suggestions in the comments. Her technical morph is a nearly naked ocellaris or maybe a misbar ocellaris, depending on the lineage. The reason I say she's one of my rarest clownfish is because of this nearly perfect circle on both sides of her body. This is something I haven't ever seen before on Miss Bars or nearly naked clownfish, and I find it just beautiful, and I want to try to stabilize this trait. So I'm growing her to be breeding size while I look for a naked clownfish to be her suitor, to hopefully produce offspring that have similar traits. And hopefully in a few generations, I'll have an entirely new morph of clownfish with perfect circles right in the middle of their bodies that create offspring resembling this trait with a high frequency, making this one of my rarest clownfish because of the future potential of these really neat genetics. The amazing selective breeding that has been going on with clownfish for the past few decades is astounding and really shines a light on the fact that many animals will hopefully be more often bred in captivity rather than caught in the wild. So if you want to see more of this journey, follow for more updates.